14 years ago, I ended up buying a Sabrent USB hub. I think it was 14 years ago. I'm not sure. They still sell it today. So maybe it could have been a lot less time than that. I haven't really checked. But like all electronic devices at one point or a time, it starts to fail. That's just the way that it goes. That's the way it went with the USB hub that I was sent uh, that had eight HDMI ports, display ports, everything like that. I thought it was amazing. But unfortunately, it turned out not to be what I needed. So I went back to the Sabrent because that other one was causing me problems. Now I was sent that other one, uh, you know, as part of a video. But uh, this guy, this was donated to me, which is nice because I do actually end up talking to my subscribers about things that do happen and whatnot. And uh, this is one of those things that came up in a conversation because my uh, audio constantly was cutting out and starting again. And yeah, so that was an issue. So I went through about seven or eight pages. I had a fixed budget around $40. And uh, well, I ended up finding this guy. It's by Ugreen. It's got seven ports in it, which trust me is a lot more than the four that I had before. So that means a few more devices here and there. And I like the cute little packaging it comes in. And it is honestly kind of heavy. So it's right here. I'm trying to get it out. Packaging woes. This is a little guy right here. We'll open it up in a second. I want to see what else comes with it because. Uh, the Sabrin one was actually supposed to come with a power adapter, but it didn't, so that was a bit disappointing. I'm hoping this one does, and it's not one of those, provide your own, but we don't actually tell you type of situations, because I've come across that before, and I've had to return items uh, due to not having the correct power adapter. So, yes, we do have a power adapter. There it is. Nice and shiny. And, of course, there's going to be, hopefully, a good USB-C cable to USB-C. Allow me to fully maximize. <sighs> or not. Instead, it's USB-C to USB-A. It looks to be in somewhat of a good quality, which, again, I don't mind. It's a little bit reinforced on the ends, which is nice. Hopefully, this is a good cable. But that's everything that's in there. Let's clean up real quick. Put that off to the side. And let's open this up. Please. Be good. To me for the next God knows how many years. I'm not one to usually replace my tech. By the way. Uh, it usually takes me a very very long time for something to be replaced. I'm a little bit stubborn. I'll even open it up and I'll try to fix it before I end up replacing it. Ooh. That thing is chunky. And I appreciate it. I hear those buttons. Well, those are some nice buttons. One already came pushed in. There's the seven USB ports. You'll notice that two of them are for charging. Uh, which two are right here at the bottom? These two ports, or, oh, four ports are for charging right here. That is definitely very nice. And uh, they're all USB 3. There's the USB-C in and the power. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else to it. It's just a simple little replacement for what I had. And hopefully, because these are powered ports, um, my... Uh, nice little interface will end up being a little bit better to me than it was before thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know this is just an unboxing but sometimes you know what the simplest videos in life can be the best videos you know bye everybody uh if you're new here you know feel free to subscribe like the video share the video leave a comment let me know what kind of usb hub you use and i'll see you next time